Hello YouTube, how you all doing today? We're out here on the homestead. I got my buddy the farmer hanging out with me. Uh, he's shy, so we don't want to be on camera, but we're going to have to make this test pretty quick because it looks like we might have some weather blowing in here. It got a little, little dark in the last few minutes, but this is a test of a Remington Golden Bullet. Uh, we got one of the uh, buckets, bucket of bullets over there. It's a 1400 round bucket. It comes, uh, you can get it at Walmart. I believe it's about $78, $79 for 1400 rounds. So that's a pretty good price. Uh, 36 grain, uh, brass jacketed bullet. Uh, they claims high velocity on the, uh, the barrel. I'm rather on the uh, bucket, but they're not. These are really a standard velocity bulk pack ammo. Um, but it is very reliable for me and it has been very accurate in my earlier tests. So, you know, let's see what kind of average we can put on this. Uh, we got two different weapons we're going to use. We got a 10.5 inch AR-15, uh, with a CMMG Bravo conversion kit in it. This is an AR pistol. Uh, the barrel is a 10 and a half inch Faxon pencil barrel with a one and eight, eight inch twist. And we get a fly wants to be part of the show. Uh, so we're going to shoot that first. And then we have a Henry 22 long rifle, lever action gun, good old classic cowboy gun. We got a uh, fixed four power scope on it. And we're gonna try that out and we'll, we'll see how it does with uh, both those barrel lengths. So uh, we just tested it with a pistol, a couple pistols, and we were getting almost a thousand feet per second with a uh, four inch and about 1050 with a eight and a half inch. So. We should be right around supersonic with the uh, 10 and a half, and we might even hit up to 1200 with the uh, 16, but we'll see. I have six rounds loaded in each weapon. We're gonna do average test. If we get some errors or whatever, I'll, I'll load some extra rounds to make sure we get enough data points, but let's uh, move the Henry out of the way so we don't shoot it. And what I'm gonna do is as I take each shot, I will call out the velocity. And then after the testing is all done, I will average out all the math and I will get you average velocity and energy, energy foot pounds. I'll put that in the uh, description and I will pin it to the first comment in the comment section. So, okay, here we go. 36 grain Remington golden bullet velocity test, 10.5 inch barrel. Let's see what we get. 1191. Wow. Impressive. 1162. We got an error. And we got another error. Let's move back here a little bit farther. I think we might be a little too close. 1164. Ooh, 945. Five. That was an underloaded. Let's throw a few more rounds in here. And uh, so we get a nice enough data points. I'll load up another three, four rounds here. But uh, yeah, we had quite a few that were over supersonic there. I expected, I expected it to be right around supersonic. And if you ignore the 945, it's actually doing a little better than I thought it would. So let's try a few more rounds here. 1162, 1116, 1094, 1135. Okay, that's plenty of data points. I think once I average all that out, we're going to be right at Mach 1, which is 1130 feet per second. So, right around what I expected. And now we are going to try the Henry. And again, I will call out the velocities as I shoot. Let's see if we can't get over 1200 with this. If we get over 1200 with this, that's actually pretty good. That would be uh, just fine for varmints and, you know, pest removal and stuff like that. 1229. 1206. 1232. Oh yeah, this is this is good. 1217. 1262. 1198. And that's it. Okay, so right around 1200 feet per second. And to give you perspective, even with the really hot, good Aguila inter, uh, interceptor rounds, which are really about the hottest thing you can get from a uh, four inch handgun, they're, they're only doing about 1150 feet per second. So these cheapo rounds, you're getting 
about the same kind of power level as you would get from a handgun with the best 22 ammo on the market. So if this was your uh, closet gun or your side-by-side -side gun, this is actually my neighbor's, and that's exactly what he uses it for. And you had to use this for defense in a pinch against a, a felon, it probably would get the job done pretty well, I think. So, all right, folks, and I and this would be really just fine for varmints. 1,200 feet per second, you're going to get a good effect. All right, folks, I appreciate you watching the test. I hope you all enjoyed it, found it informative. Uh, you all have a great day. Freedom by me, out.